I've always liked the Burke Museum because it's full of fossils. The thing about fossils is when Charles Darwin wrote Origin of the Species, he presented his theory of evolution and they looked at the fossil record and the fossil record seemed to back his theory. Since then, thousands, millions of fossils have been found all over the earth. And you know how many of those fossils contradict Charles Darwin's theory of evolution? None. Not one single fossil has ever been found that contradicts the theory of evolution, which means that this fossil right here backs the theory of evolution. This fossil right here, lamp shells and moss animals. This fossil right here, the first coral reefs and the armor-plated predators. and the marine meadows. Every one of them, every fossil ever found completely supports Darwin's theory of evolution. And the reason it's called a theory, get this, you can disprove it. Easy as pie. All you have to do is find a fossil that contradicts the theory of evolution. That's all you have to do. And it can be disproven. That's what makes it a theory. It can be disproven by evidence. This evidence has not been found yet. But you're welcome to try. All you have to do is find the bones of a chihuahua in the Mesozoic era. And you will have disproven Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. But until then, this is the only evidence we have to go on. Carbon dated fossil records. Facts. Science. And among that evidence, a 150 million year old lobster, a 70 million year old crab, a 100 million year old sea biscuit echinoid from Texas, a feather star from Germany that's 150 million years old, this little sea urchin here is 190 million, this brittle star is 165 million years old, here's a lamp shell that's 190 million years old, and a trignid clam. And this one, well, let's see. Yeah, I would say it's 175 million years old. This moon snail, 66 million years old. And uh, the rest of these, there's an ammonite that's 230 million years old. And every one of these, every one of them, well, you know what they do. And here's a water lizard. Imagine finding this thing. Somebody found this. And they found out that it's 270 million years old. And the first thought in their brain was, wow, I bet this disproves Darwin's theory of evolution. But then they checked the books and it turned out, hey, what do you know? It confirms the theory of evolution. Well, what are you going to do about all this evidence, guys? Evidence. I mean, look at it. That thing definitely turned into John Rivers. So as I stand next to this uh, thigh bone of a dinosaur, apparently an apatosaurus or a camarasaurus, whatever, it's a sauropod, it's a dinosaur, it's a thigh bone, and it's 140 million years old from Western Earth. I can't help but be reminded of the Innocence Project in which hundreds and hundreds of prisoners in the United States have been set free because of DNA evidence proving their innocence. And also of the uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of prisoners who've gone to jail based on DNA evidence proving their guilt in a court of law. Um, it's how paternity tests are done nowadays. If you, you want to find out if you're actually the parent of your child, you do a DNA test and it proves it conclusively. So, you know, they did DNA of a human, they did DNA of an ape, and it turns out we're related. We have a 
common ancestor somewhere back there. It turns out, not only are we related, but we are more closely related to the apes than gorillas are related to the apes. Gorillas split off before we did. Uh, so, here's your choice. Either evolution is true, and DNA evidence is true, or all those prisoners who are set free have to go back to jail, and all those prisoners who are in jail right now due to DNA evidence have got to be set free. And they have to rewrite every single episode of CSI Anything. <laughs>